feeling that everything in America is completely fucked up. You know that feeling that the whole country is like one inch away from saying, that's it, forget it. Oh my goodness. All right. It's, it's videos like this, this right here on why I have the intro that I have. Because everybody is just so close to literally saying, that's it, forget it. Um, so now I know a lot of you hate, oh, I get it. You hate the idea of anarchy, but can I explain something? Whether you're for it or against it, it's coming our way. Now, why is it coming our way? Because even if you believe so hardly in law and order, <laughs> which never seems to work out, you just get more tyrannical government. And even though you might support them now, they could turn on you later and then you're kind of screwed. Think about that. Um, because of what's happening throughout the past couple years and the next couple years, I believe that whether you like it or not, you're going to have to deal with anarchy. Now, why is that? People are getting to that point that they don't, they can't put all the puzzle pieces together, but they do not trust this government. And I'm so, whether you're for or against Trump, just to be for him is, is nonsense, to be honest, at this point. Take the guns first, due process later. We're going in with Operation Warp Speed. There are small increments of, of things happening that do take away your freedom of speech. Right? right now, it might just be college campuses, but tomorrow it could be elsewhere. Very wish-washy dude. I don't know why anybody sticks around with this. Um, my mom once asked me what would happen, because she, she just doesn't believe in the way that I think, but she asked what would happen if no one went and voted. I said that would be the best day of our lives because everyone would look around and agree we don't support what's happening here. We need a change. Oh, I'm all for a reset. I'm just not for the reset. You hear me? So let's kind of get into some of the news. And before we get into that, our sponsorship. So if you do feel the need for some gold or silver, go check out Wise Wolf Gold and Silver Exchange. I know a lot of you hate that as well, but I don't know what direction things are going in. So I like to be prepared on all sides. Um, for me, like, there are some people that think because I mentioned gold or silver that that's the only thing that I believe in. Not at all. Um, not even close, actually. <laughs> I find that to be kind of funny because I live completely off grid. Complete, like, there are no utilities that come up here that are that are provided and I don't plan on paying for them in the future. It's it's all kind of independent here and as independent as we can be. Now I know many people can't do that and are not in a position to do that. That's okay. Get yourself some food, a way to purify water and defense. Ab above everything else, make sure that you've got defense covered, not to go out and raid somebody else. That's why you need your food and your water so you're not being a jackass if shit gets a little crazy. Um but defense and and having a plentiful stock of those freedom seeds, if you will. Assault Teddy, by the way. That's so cute. I Some people might hate that thing, but I just thought that that was so cute. So I might keep that there. Let me know how you feel about Assault Teddy, because I kind of like him. He's really cute. Don't you like that? How something so peaceful and, and cute could also be, you know, somewhat destructive? I don't know. I like that kind of stuff. Forgive me for that. But um, I bring this up because... Number one, this is on everybody's, whoever cares to actually still go and vote. This is the number one thing on their mind is about the mail-in ballots and how long it's going to take to decide who's our next leader. Because we just need a leader so bad. I need somebody to tell me what to do so bad. Um, this could cause chaos right here, right? And guys, the kind of anarchy that I am talking about is not the same thing that the, the mainstream media presents you when Antifa is going crazy totally different things. You know, if we had a little bit of anarchy, like, and you actually believed in it, you would be able to take care of those people that are, that are causing overwhelming chaos. But because you believe in your police force and law and order, we're just wasting a bunch of money on police to show up in extra riot gear and eventually call in the National Guard, all for them to continue to raid footlockers. Yeah, how's that working out for us? Remember, that's your tax dollars being spent. Um, so maybe if you had a bit more freedom or believed in a little bit of anarchy yourself, you could possibly go and handle that situation. Uh, not telling you what to do or to go and do anything. I do not promote any kind of violence, but I'm, you can see where I'm going with that. Just know 
this right here. Because we have two people that have giant egos and one of them can't even remember where he is half the time. People are going to be upset no matter how this election selection goes. I don't even call it an election. It is a selection, right? And now we have this. Could be purposeful. Could just be coincidental. I'm not sure, but there was a tweet sent out today by SV, SV News Alerts. Multiple U.S. hospitals have been hit with a coordinated cyber attack days before the election. FBI and HHS and Homeland Security Cybersecurity Agency warn of more possible attacks. So whether this be purposeful, wink, wink, you know what I'm talking about there, or it truly is, is happening and it's a true attack, this could also cause you some anarchy. Guess what? If somebody hit enough of your systems, nothing is going to be working. Your law and order doesn't mean a damn thing if nothing is working. This is why I say you need to get used to the idea of anarchy and taking care of yourself, being independent yourself, because the, the things that you've been given might not always be there. And to be honest, whenever it comes to something really big... Nine times out of ten, the police are not going to be there. I don't know about you, but any time that I've ever, I've ever felt the need to call them, it takes around 15 to 30 minutes for them to show up. If my life was truly in danger, I mean, at this point, because I'm of, I'm of age and how things work out with our laws, I can take care of myself now. If my life was truly in danger, I can take care of that. But then that just opens up a whole new can of worms once the police show up and then I turn into the bad guy, right? Um, this as well. <sighs> Freaking scamdemic. So, France and Germany and a couple of other places that I heard of today are doing their phase two lockdowns. Like, we're going into that next phase, whatever it might be. The stock market was battered. It, it closed below 900 points today. Uh, Fauci expresses worry. I'm not really sure why, because if we go and read what he's written, or we actually go and read what the CDC has put out, I wouldn't be all that concerned. Um, but all of this is just leading to chaos soup. Y'all guys know that's like my favorite word. And most of the time, chaos soup isn't brought on by people like you or me acting chaotic. It comes on because the government can't hand they Guys, like they can't handle anything at this point. And I just want to make that very clear. Like that's why I'm making this video. Whether you like it or not, get used to the idea of, I don't want to say lawlessness, um, but that is the word. And anarchy doesn't mean no rules, it means no rulers. You as a collective community can de decide what's, you know, what's good to go and what you don't want to happen. You as a community can decide that better than a big government force can. That's just something that we've got to get through our heads, right? They're not always going to be there. They've promised you something that they can't hold their promises on. That's It's that easy. And this day and age, that's kind of coming up on you a lot faster. That's why it's so in important to be independent. You know, get away from the big bankers. Have your own reserves of, of different things. I can't tell you what to go out and buy. For me, it was just getting as independent as possible. Um, moving to... A really, really, really small town. That wasn't exactly purposeful. It's kind of like it just... An opportunity fell in our lap. Um, we had been looking for over three years to find, you know, a location that we liked. But the opportunity presented itself and we jumped on that. And, you know, before we even got here, we have a little bit of food. Um, I do have ways to purify water, but on top of that, I'm doing rainwater collection. Because like I said, the, I don't have any utilities up here. Um, so it's, it's not hard guys. If a young, dumb Gen Zer can figure this out, you can figure this out. All right. So all I'm saying is just get ready for whatever's going to come and get okay. Like decide how you want to handle things. Who are your good friends, your good neighbors, your family, who can you invite, you know, to be closer to you, have a location to go to, whatever it might be. If all of this comes down, you do need to be ready for that. <sighs> this life is not perfect and there never will be a utopia and I pray to God that we're not running ourselves into a dystopia we, we don't want a dystopian future the kinds of things that you've seen in scary movies just kind of think about that kind of stuff and and decide what you're going to do when all of this falls apart because whether you like it or not there's going to be anarchy for a while when when all the strings are cut that's what we're left with 
And I know no system works. I, everyone is going to come here and tell me anarchy doesn't work because of this or that. Does any other system work? No. You taking care of yourself and a, a, a real free market, real capitalism, true capitalism, not crony capitalism, those kinds of things build strong people in strong countries. Think about that. We're just... We're kind of at the tipping point here. You know, we can only print money so much, we can only do so many bailouts, and whether you like the police or not, there there's multiples quitting their job. We're talking about hundreds, if not thousands, of police officers quitting their jobs because it's not worth it anymore. Learn how to govern yourself. That's all I have, guys. Bye.